Hey YouTube, it's Paul Winter again. You may have already seen my other videos about my Nexus One rooted with various um, custom ROMs. Well, today I have just installed uh, Micro Mods 1.2 Desire Port. So let's go ahead, go ahead and have a little run through with that. So. You're going to have a little standard uh, boot up screen except for um, that little, the, when the lines come in, it's going to be, instead of a, it's going to be a cyanogen symbol right there. So, um, it did take a while for it to boot up. This is my first boot up, um, well, it's first reboot. Um, all I have installed was um, set CPU and Astro File Manager, so it's nothing really anything that can change it. Well, so far there are two builds for this ROM. There is the stock ROM, stock uh, super hybrid ROM, and the WM version, Wild Monk 975 MV kernel. Um, do not recommend installing that 975 MV kernel because it didn't even allow me to boot up and just froze my phone so just go ahead and go with the stock ROM for now until there is a fix for it so slide to unlock this is based on Android 2.2 from the desire port it's a desire ROM so you have your seven home screens pinch to zoom works pretty smooth on that part then your app menu right here scrolling scrolling is somewhat laggy but um, you can't really notice it too much in this build um, let's see there is um, what this build does what this build has has a 720p video recording just like the other ROM it did um, it has the droid 2 keyboard I'll show you that right now this is the droid 2 keyboard not really sure if you can see that. Um, I do apologize for the camera quality because I don't have my normal camera right now. I'm using my Samsung Vibrant as a camera recorder right now. Um, let's see. It has apps to SD or EXT. So that way you can install a lot more um, applications instead of relying on the minimal internal memory it has. Let's see only has 136 megabytes of internal memory but with that apps to an EXT you can inst however big your EXT partition is then you can install that however many um, applications you want now there is the trackball uh, customization you can change the color of it click on that you can just change it all. Anyways, all your widgets are there. Scrolling. Widgets. It's a whole bunch of widgets. That's why I like HTC Sense. It, they, these widgets really make it look good. And there's almost no, there's very little lag to it. So I think it's a really good daily runner, daily user. Let's see. Let's go to calls, phone. I haven't imported any numbers. Well, I guess it imported it from my Google account. So, very smooth scrolling. I just have a whole bunch of contacts. Let's go to here. Phone is right here. It has a little 3D, it has a little glass look to it. Call all contacts favorites um, let's see what else is there there's a gallery 3d the 3d gallery let's see right there just makes it into a little weird little thing makes it look nice <laughs> not too many features on the f photo side just standard pretty much What else is there? There's Wi-Fi hotspot right here. 
it what high Wi-Fi hotspot does it turns your phone into a portable Wi-Fi hotspot so you just turn on your 3G and then you basically can connect to anything that has Wi-Fi in it such as a laptop or an iPad anything along those nature that nature um, let's see what else is there this is he has a little icon change up here I have red bars because I don't have my SIM card in it, and there's a little there's a little battery icon right there. It says the little it's like a battery indicator, 71 percent. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it, kind of don't like it. So it's really up to the end user if they like it or not. <clears throat> there's an application called Torch. It turns on your LED light. It has three settings. pretty useful application if you're running through the dark and then there's a application called spare parts it allows you to customize a lot more stuff in it but I can't really go into detail too much um, there's a quick boot application basically what it can do is just boot your phone into any part of the phone that you need to get to like just reboot the phone go into recovery or go into bootloader mode See, Peep is a Twitter application, pretty nice for those who use Twitter. There's uh, FM radio in here. I don't have my headset plugged in, so it's not going to let me. So, uh, Bluetooth does work, so you don't need to worry about that. Let's go to internet. See how fast the browser is. I am on a Wi-Fi network, so and I'm pretty far from the connection, so it might not connect. So I guess I'm not connected. Down here it has a little Nexus One thing instead of the space bar. Thing looks nice. Yeah, I'm out of my Wi-Fi range, so uh, let's see. Any address connected? Let's go to internet, Google. Eh, I'm out of my connection again, uh, but Wi-Fi does work. I'm pretty far from my wireless router, so I apologize for that. There's a desk clock right there. Basically, you can just sit it on your sit it on your if you have a if you have a Nexus One cradle, you can just sit it on here, and it's a, like a nice little uh, alarm clock. And then there's one called Car Home. Basically, um, it allows you to navigate your phone within a small uh, menu bar. Navigate phone, contacts, voice search, music, exit car mode. Let's see. <clears throat> YouTube. Oh, there's no onboard network. I forgot. My bad. But there are a whole bunch. There is a whole bunch of widgets in here that you should add in if uh, if you don't mind a tiny bit of lag. So I would recommend it. It's a whole bunch of applications, widgets that make your phone just look a lot better. I really like HTC's Messenger widget. Um, basically, it allows you to scroll through your um, scroll through your messages, and it organizes it very well. And uh, let's see, let's go to the weather tab. I love this about HTC Sense. Their clock is just fabulous. I enjoy it a lot. Highly highly customizable. Um, you can actually do a little demo of it of how all the weather conditions and how the phone reacts to these weather conditions. Cool little animations. Just makes it look really nice. Um, so that's pretty much it about this phone. Um, can't really go into too much detail about it as uh, I need more questions to answer so if you have any questions just please comment on my channel and I will gladly try to answer them in another video if not I'll try to answer them uh, through another uh, wall post or something whatever you want to call it so 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Please subscribe if you want to keep up to the keep up with the latest updates about the Nexus One, Vibrant, and other various phones. This is Paul Winter. Have a nice day.